Joining us via Skype on Tea Time this morning is um, Kunle Ido, but you all know him as Frank Dunga. Hi, Frank. No drum rolls for Frank. They're looking up from home. Hello, Hello Frank. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. How are you doing? Very well, thank you. Happy lockdown. <laughs> is <laughs> that how the you. greeting is? Echo lockdown, right? Same to you. Yes, ah, same to you. That's it now. Ah, okay. <laughs> but sadly, we're not locked down out here. Lockdown is better than lock up. Thank okay, you. that's 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 an interesting <laughs> angle. So Frank, um, one of the arts you're known for is um, you using social media to make people laugh. Would you say this lockdown has affected you in any way? Nah, I'll be insincere if I said it's, it has. In, in, in a sense, it hasn't really affected some of us that do content creation online, especially comedy sketches that play multiple characters or that have been self-producing before now. Basically, it's still the same process. And a lot of people do this. I'm a former one. I do a lot of production by myself. Uh, but if you want to look at the economic side, you could say maybe certain brands or clients that would want to advertise would be sensitive to this period and not uh, engage you commercially in that sense. Yes, commercially, yes, it has affected. But in terms of creating content, I mean, a lot of people create content on their phone, so it doesn't really stop it, what you're doing if you want to do it. Mm. Mm. So some of, um, so we've seen some new entrants when it comes to Instagram comedy, but you've been there for a long time. And uh, we've even have the ones that made way for a while and then they fizzle away. But you has been, you've been consistent. How would you say you stay relevant? First of all, like anything about life, don't let anybody deceive you. Anything you want to do in life, make sure it's something that you can do for free, even when you're not getting paid for it. Meaning, it must be something you are passionate about, something you do effortlessly, something you're not doing just because of the material gain. That way, you don't need to be prompted. You don't need to psych yourself too much. And you see materials and everything. If you're a singer, you see music, you hear music in everything, everywhere you go to. When people are seeing colors, you are seeing sound. Yes, you can see sound visually somehow in your mind. So it's about making sure that it's something you do naturally. Even if nobody was uh, watching, I would still do this because I enjoy it. That is one. Two, enrich yourself with materials. Sometimes I take a bus, sometimes I go on and I take a walk, I mix with people. You don't say, ah, because now nah, you're famous, I don't want to. Mm -mm. So I, I go to the sources of my materials. I read a lot. I watch news items a lot to know what's happening in society, economics, business, politics, society. Just enrich yourself, enrich yourself with um, what can inspire you and encourage you. And be around people that also fan the flames of your passion. And my family has been tremendously supportive. My friends too, and my colleagues. Okay. If Hi, I'm Frank. Mine. Um, it's very interesting that as much as you're very popular, we don't really know much about you. I didn't even know you were married with kids until you just did it. But So we've come up with a, f uh, a few questions that we can ask and make it fun, just so that the audience can know you. It's called, um, have I or, ha or never have I ever. So you just have to say, I have or I haven't. I'm sure you've like um, seen this game before. Okay, so the first question is, never have I ever used someone else's toothbrush? Maka, why? No. No one carry something, no. Not even Never. your wives? Mm -mm. Okay. Never have I ever denied a fart or acted like I wasn't the one who farted. I didn't deny it. I just carry it. <laughs> Everybody just look front. Right. So you just pretend like you didn't, so it's you a didn't do it. Mm. Mm -hmm. So it's because a half. Because sometimes, not only you, now your mind. It's all in your mind. Not only you the feel say it's in loud. Nobody right. hear them. You just look. Pop on looking. Mind your business. <laughs> okay. Um, never have I ever deliberately not paid after eating from a restaurant. Nah, see, eh? you see, see my face, see my neck. You cannot collect beating. Before I go into a restaurant, I, the last thing I do at the door is check my pocket to make sure my wallet is not lost. Right. I can't let somebody come and beat me. No. <laughs> okay, but have you mistakenly not paid? Like that happens sometimes. Eh. Uh, not that I did not pay. I think I forgot. <laughs> but before I went out. Okay, and last... I brought it never can... <laughs> okay, last I... one. Never have I ever pretended to know someone who clearly knew me. Ah, why? You know, I like meeting people, so... Why would I deny? No, besides, they owe you money now. Why would I go deny? I know you're criminals now. No, you know, you know <laughs> when people can come up to you and be like, oh my gosh, Frank, and like act like they really know you personally, but you don't know who they are, so you just carry on. Like, oh, hi. 
and but you know, don't actually know me. Yeah. embarrass you. If you know myself, I embarrass you outside. You say, ah, long time. Even if it's just one I met before, and I can remember your face. <laughs> so I like meeting people. I appreciate it when people. It's. I think it's a blessing when people know you are doing it. I don't deny it. Well, okay. Well, thank you for playing that with me. It was fun. Hello, Frank. <laughs> thank you very much. How are you doing, Frank? I'm not bad. I'm not. How's your lockdown on your side? Essential duties. I know you have to go to the hospital. Yeah, or, or yeah, to the yeah, office. Yeah. Not bad. Not but bad. We're kicking. Don't, don't police people stop you and say, "Oga, oh, where's your permit?" No media were ex exempted from the lockdown, and we're essential work. I know. So. I know. Okay. We have you have you ever, ever been in a situation where you are not in an official car, and maybe in your car or in the bus, and they stop you and say, "Where are you going? Don't you know about the lockdown?" We just show the ID card, and then that that's the pass. Let me take my ID card. <laughs> <laughs> all right so um uh, everybody knows um frank Donga to be like um the, um the comedian the jovial one the one who makes us laugh but now let's talk about kunle do tell us three things that people do not really know about you three Depends things that kind of you've never shared anywhere what? three things you haven't shared anywhere you haven't told anyone it's not on wikipedia just tell us about frankie do himself um, he, he's he's a, he's a musician. Did you know that? Mm. I play the lead guitar, the bass guitar, and the keyboard. I write, I sing, I rap. Yeah. Mm. He he loves swimming. Oh, I love swimming. Okay, so you rap. And yeah, and I'm a pretty good cook. Yeah, what? I. I'm a pretty good cook. I cook fire. I cook up a storm in the kitchen. Yeah. Okay. So can you, you just give it? us like four bars since you're a rapper? Just rap for us real quick. I ask freestyling now. And freestyle for us now. <laughs> plus to the plus on live TV. Hey. Skype to the me to the you on air. Hey. Talking about the lock, the lock, lockdown. Hey. Ah. I'm not that kind of a freak about hey. Frank Donga, <laughs> ah. is, that, is that freestyle or you're just playing? <laughs> That sounded like the uh, guy in wedding party. Yeah, 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 yeah that's true. <laughs> Thank you, Frank, for doing tea with Thank us this morning. Thank you so morning. much. Okay, so that was fun, yeah. I guess. Um, plus to the plus on the I live mean, TV. I could do that. Come to the lock, to the lock, lockdown. <laughs>